Hey, it's Kim and welcome back to Pokemon Breaks. Today we have another really fun unboxing. I have finally gotten my hands on some Pokemon 151. This is the latest Pokemon TCG release in Japan and it is super special because it is focusing on and includes only the first 151 Pokemon from the Kanto region. I love Pokemon. I grew up loving Pokemon so I feel like this is going to be a super fun walk down memory lane. If you would like to see what's inside this box please stay tuned and if you would like to see more from me please subscribe. I post a new video every single week and I would love to have you back. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so welcome to Pokemon 151. This is a new sealed box from Japan. I just wanted to show you the artwork on the box because you have all 151 Pokemon in this really cute and colorful print. I hope they make some more stuff with that print that we can collect because I think it's really sweet. Now you'll notice my box was wrapped up in plastic when I got it. That used to be the safest way to look out for Japanese boxes that were untampered with. The other protection on these boxes is this tab pull across the front. Unfortunately, um, some people have figured out how to scan boxes even if that is left intact and they're pulling packs out from the side. So this sort of side box, side bit can be open. Um, and people can swap in new packs and leave it looking really undamaged and put new plastic around it. So if you are ordering boxes or packs from Japan, please be super careful because the market has changed. A lot of people are really interested in J Japanese cards and that's created some scams and people taking advantage, which is not very nice at all. 151 is a super interesting set as well in that there are only 20 packs in here. So usually with the Japanese sort of normal sets, there are gonna be 30 packs, but this one only has 20, but there are, I think, seven cards in each one. So a little bit heftier packs, if that makes sense. I bought my box from Starfish Mart, which is a local seller, someone that I trust. I bought a ton of stuff through, so I am confident that we've got the real deal here. We've got an apple. I'm very sure that I'm gonna know all the Pokemon. We've got Victory Bell, absolutely gorgeous artwork. One of the really fun things about this set is that every Pokemon, um, the, line the lineage or the line of evolution is actually done by the same artist. So I'll show you a couple of groups once we have a few that we can put together because I'm really <laughs> excited about that. Um, Temokasu Kamiya is one of my favorite artists and we have the beautiful Gengar. This is the Pokeball Hollow. So we'll keep an eye out for our Master Ball, but this is a super cool artwork. And, ooh, a Beedrill, all right. Big Dick B, let's go. Everybody know that's Big Dick B. And I am doing a pack trick of two to the front. That's gonna wreck us if we do happen to get a God pack. But for most of the packs, that's gonna be the right thing and it will leave the secret rare at the end. Oh my gosh, look at that Snorlax. That is so cute by Hyogonosuke, one of my absolute favorites. If you haven't checked it out, I do an artist showcase series and Hyogonosuke was one I did fairly recently and they do some really cool stuff. Beautiful little Venonaut. Oh my gosh, that background is stunning. Um, and I'm really excited to see some of these lines. Okay, all right, we've got a Electrode. Again, just the Pokeball. I would love to see the Pikachu and the Master Ball but we shall just have to wait and see. And I'm a champ, very cool hollow there. Very beautiful sand slash artwork. I apologize if I'm going a little bit slow for you. I am just really excited to see this new set. Very excited to see the new artworks. <laughs> Super cute Diglett, we've seen him twice now. We've got the male Nidoran, absolutely gorgeous. A reverse Dodrio, still haven't seen our Master Ball. Very cool artwork though, absolutely gorgeous um, emotion on the faces, they're so different. Ooh, and a Dragonite, really stunning hollow there. I'm really happy to have that one. We've got a gorgeous Magna, ooh, Magnemite, it's not Magneton. Yes, it is Magneton. We've got a gorgeous Magna, Magna, <laughs> We've got a gorgeous Magneton by Yukimori. Absolutely stunning. I wanna see this whole line. They are super cute. Beautiful War Turtle. Again, we just need to see the entire line so I can put them all together. That looks like a block of soap. I wish I could read, read Japanese. What are you talking about? Shelder, super sweet, Licky Tongue by Saya Sirata. Another one of my absolute favorites. I will link her artist video for you now. Oh my gosh, and a gorgeous reverse hollow seal, super sweet. 
Ooh, and an EX. All right, we got a Golem EX. That's our first EX in the box. Very pretty card. I love the hollow and the shine on these Japanese artworks. Super nice. If you are collecting this set, please let me know what you're chasing and let me know what your best pull is. I feel like this might be my best pull. This gorgeous Jigglypuff by Sino Misaki. Absolutely stunning artwork there. It looks so cute and expectant. I love the flowers in the background, it's super sweet. I have a favorite binder and I keep Jigglypuffs in there, so I'm gonna need a double of that one. Beautiful Bulbasaur by Yu Nishida. I will pause quickly to show you. I have this really cute Bulbasaur top on from the Pokemon Center, <laughs> so I'm stoked with that one as well. Another one of my all-time faves. We've got a Tentacool, very cool artwork there with the water, I love that effect. Ooh, and a reverse Eevee. Unfortunately, it's not our Master Ball, but we did get a reverse Eevee, and that is super cute. Again, another one that I have in my favorites binder, and I might have to stash that one away for myself. And a holographic Articuno to wrap it up. Beautiful artwork there. Absolutely gorgeous Persian artwork by Naoki Saito. I love the lighting in this one. The flowers look like they're glowing, and that is so pretty. We've got a Venomoth, beautiful artwork there, and I will show you that with the Venonaut in a second. Ponita, absolutely stunning. Again, it looks pretty cranky and territorial, very emotive, which is awesome. Very pretty painting there. We have an Electivire, a reverse Cubone, super duper sweet. Just looking at the moon, I love this artwork so much. And Oh, Vaporeon, that is a beautiful Vaporeon artwork by Kiris Aki, absolutely stunning. I wonder if they had Kiris Aki do all of the evolutions actually, because there's a ton in this. No, okay. So Eevee was done by someone different, that's interesting. So this is what I mean. I am gonna try to set aside a few more pairs like this to show off the evolution lines by the same artist, but I just think it is such a cool concept and I really hope that Pokemon um, Company does this some more. I think it's gonna lend a lot of really nice continuity to our binders and I'm really excited about that. All right, we've got a Poliwrath. Looks like he's just going through Tokyo. That is such a neat artwork. So many interesting concepts in here. We've got a Gosan artwork. We have the Cubone regular artwork as well. Beautiful little Porygon. Absolutely stunning background there. That looks like it was created in a computer by Fibon Graphics. Oh my gosh, that is a stunning Vulpix as well. I'm so excited about the art in this set. Oh my gosh, and we got Squirtle. He's so cute. This is our first AR of the box and he is absolutely adorable. I, yeah, I'm over the moon about these starter ARs. They're so sweet. And we got the holographic Gengar to go with our reverse. I'm so excited about having this AR though. It is absolutely adorable. One of the things that I absolutely adore about opening Japanese is just that the quality on the cards is always so perfect. This Tangela artwork by Aya Kasuba is just stunning. I am so stoked to see the artwork in this set. Oh my god, I've never seen such a beautiful Kakuna. Have you? That is so stunning. Look at that. I'm really glad I avoided spoilers for this set. We've got a reverse Licky Tongue and ooh, a Blastoise EX. That's so nice. Look at the hollow on that. The EX cards in Japanese are just something else. The shine on these in real life is just absolutely amazing. Oh wait, and I forgot to do the pack trick. <laughs> Oops. All right, we have a stadium. It is a beautiful Kanto area. It looks like a road. I'm not really sure. We've got Charmeleon. Love to see the Charmander actually from that one. We have a very cute seal that we got the reverse of earlier. Weedle, oh my goodness. This Weedle line is something else. This is by Nisimono and it is super cute. I love the perspective that they've taken on these artworks. I think that's what made the Kakuna so special as well. Uh, but just the, the blurry sort of leaves because your, your eyes wouldn't be able to focus on everything at the same time. It just looks real. It brings it to life and it's absolutely stunning. We have a very cool, epic looking gold mat. We've got a reverse Growlithe, super duper cute. I collect Growlithe. I have a few really good friends that collect Growlithe as well. I may have to part with this one just for somebody that will love it a little bit more. And ooh, Jolteon Hollow. That is a super cool artwork. Very epic. All right, we've got a Fero. I absolutely love the really neutral color scheme on this one. It looks like dawn or dusk, and it's really, really interesting. We've got a trainer. 
lacking names. Oh, okay. All right. So we have a Ghastly. This is also by Tamakaza Kamiya. I'm hoping we get the Haunter as well so that we can have the whole line. We have a very cute little Katarpi. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely stunning. We have a Fossil, I believe. Ooh, we have a Reverse Nido Queen. Really, really gorgeous reverse there. I love that background as well. Looks really stunning. And a Vile Plume Hollow. So pretty. Look at the background on that. It's so detailed. So we are officially halfway through the box. We should have our SR to go, as well as hopefully some more AR cards. We have a beautiful Jatini. I'll put that aside. Hopefully we get the Dragonair as well. We have a coughing, absolutely stunning artwork there. I just cannot get over. Ooh, okay, we've got Beedrill Reverse. I just can't get over. How many pretty artworks are in this set? And then we have a Star U Holographic, absolutely gorgeous. We've got a Cloister. So this is another, we've got the Shelter. I can show you them together. Ooh, we've got the Hypno that goes with the Drowsy we pulled earlier. Far out, that is such a stunning Psyduck, I was about to swear. We've got an absolutely stunning Psyduck, that is so cute. There's an AR of Psyduck actually in this set that is super adorable. We've got a Paris, who's a very cute looking Grimmer, just chilling out in the sewer, but he's adorable. Oh my gosh, and the Ivysaur. This is probably one of my favorite ARs out of this whole set. This was one that I saw in a spoiler and I'm really excited to have this. As I said, wore my Bulbasaur top, so I'm really excited to add this one to the binder. It is so gorgeous. Um, I'm really happy actually that I've pulled ARs of the starters because they're probably my favorites. And we have, oh, okay, all right. So we have all three, we've got Flareon, we had the Vaporeon and Jolteon before, so those are really stunning. Okay, so I thought I'd hit pause for just a second to show you the three evolutions together because I'm really excited. I managed to get all three. I do happen to collect evolutions, so I'm really stoked about these and they're all by different artists, which is super cool. All right, we've got Primeape, absolutely gorgeous, almost like painted style background, which is super cool. Beautiful Erica, I'm so excited about this one. I'm hoping to get her in a reverse as well. I collect trainers and I just love Erica. She's absolutely stunning. We've got the Spiro to go with our Firo. Oh my gosh, cute little Oddish. That is absolutely stunning. We have a regular Eevee, exciting. So we've got one for the binder as well. We've got a reverse Porygon. Ooh, and a Zapdos EX. That is pretty. I love the hollows on these. They're so nice. I was really hoping to get all of the starters, but I will be opening a few more boxes for sure. If you want to come hang out with me on Twitch to open some more, please do. I will put my link down below. It's just twitch.tv slash Pokemon Breaks. All right, we've got an executor. Very colorful, tropical artwork there. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, so we got the Dragonair. I'm going to have to show you that line in a second. Beautiful Slowpoke, is this not the cutest thing? Okacheke just knows how to do it. We've got a, another fossil, looks like an Omanite fossil. Another little female Nidoran. A reverse Diglett, very nice, very nice reverse hollow there. And a holographic electrode. So again, in the favorites binder lives the Dragonite evolution line. My favorites binder is enormous. There's actually more than one of them. Um, these are by a new artist to me as well, but I absolutely love them. These are all by Senosuke Sakuma and they are just stunning. Look at the expressions on their faces. I think the Dragonite is especially happy, but the Dragonair in particular, the color scheme on that one is just divine. All right, we've got a beautiful Nidorina. So now we have that full evolution line. I am really curious about what we're gonna pull. Oh my gosh, look at that Squirtle. Um, I'm really curious about what we're gonna pull. We still haven't gotten our SR, we haven't gotten our Master Ball Hollow, and we also haven't gotten our third AR. I think we should get another, so I'm really interested. Oh, we got War Turtle. Okay, so this is like a Squirtle box. <laughs> that is so sweet. So we got the War Turtle AR. It's really stunning. I think the Blastoise is probably the one in this line that is the least interesting. Um, so I'm really happy to pull this one. And then, oh my gosh, and we got a, a full art as well. <laughs> That's so cool. So we got a Kadabra full art, very nice. All right, Nidori No. <laughs> okay, finally we've got the Haunter. So we have that full evolution line as well. We've got Dratini again, super cute. We've got a Farfetch'd. 
Oh my gosh, absolutely gorgeous sand shirt. He looks a bit confused or befuddled. We've got a reverse rye horn, really gorgeous hollow on these. It is out of this world from the Japanese boxes. And another dodrio in hollow, very nice. I'm so sorry if I'm boring you with this, but I just cannot get over how much I love the continuity with having the evolution line done by the same artists. These are all by one of my favorites, Tomokazu Kamiya, and I think they're all stunning and they look so nice together. All right, we've got a Hitmonchan, very cool dynamic artwork there. We've got another Nido Queen, absolutely stunning. We've got the little Magnemite by Yukimori. I just love that line so much. Oh my goodness, look at this Rotata. That's by Soso, -So, one of my favorite artists. Rotata is not one of my favorite Pokemon, but I just love that. It's so sweet. Another beautiful coughing. We have a rever Ooh, reverse Machamp and a holographic Mr. Mime, very creepy Pokemon, but super cute artwork. All right, we've got a Kingler by Yuki Baba. Pinsir, again, one of my least favorite Pokemon, but good artwork does help me appreciate them. A beautiful Goldeen. I feel like that could be a cool altar, actually. Oh my gosh, Abra. This one is reminiscent of the base set Abra, and it is super sweet, absolutely beautiful, sort of Sahara background. And a Master Ball EV, no way. Okay, that is, that's a good hit. I'm absolutely stoked with that Master Ball EV. Um, I'm very pleased. We're gonna put her in his sleeve straight away. One of the, you know, OG favorites. Everybody loves EV, and we got the super special Master Ball. Oh my God, and a Mew EX! This pack was made for me. Mew is, again, my favorite binder is ridiculous, I realize, um, but Mew is one of my absolute favorites and I really wanted to pull this EX. So this pack was the God pack in my opinion. I'm super stoked with that. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Look at that, it's so shiny. Look at that shiny little baby, it's so perfect. Oh, I love it. I'm not sure if you collect English as well. I was gonna make a very quick segue to say, if you are on the lookout for English, there are pre-orders up, and if you're lucky enough, you might be able to get some of the special products. I would definitely suggest that you try to get one of the UPCs if you're able to. They are gonna come with some really cool Mew promos and products, including a coin that is very, very cute. So if you can get a pre-order in for one of those, I would definitely suggest it. I am super excited. I'm gonna hopefully add one to my collection as well and I hope that you can get your hands on one too. Okay, we've only got two packs left to open. We definitely still have a chance at a God pack. Um, I'm, I don't have my fingers crossed or anything like that. Um, oh my God, look at that Pika. I need that in the reverse too. He's super cute. Um, so we could still potentially get a God pack out of the last pack, but overall, oh, and a Squirtle reverse. I'm really happy with my pulls from this box. If you've opened some, let me know what your best hits were because I am super curious. And Nido King, so we finished that line as well. Look at this cute little Omanyte. I absolutely love this artwork. It's really interesting because usually, I guess they suggest not to center um, the focal point of an image, but I think the way that this is laid out, it's really interesting having Omanyte just right in the center. We've got a gorgeous Rattata by Soso -So. again. Not one of my favorite Pokemon, but really beautiful artwork. We've got a Dodrio, super cute little Weepin' Bell. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. Super cute little Bell Sprout by Jerky. I love that artist name, that's very cool. Oh my gosh, a Poliwhirl. I love that these ones are just like in the city. It looks like they're wandering around in like a human environment and that's really cool. We've got a reverse Pidgeot and ooh, okay. We have this very epic Aerodactyl by Shinji Kanda. Super busy artwork, but again, executed so well. So it's really interesting to look at. Oh, and that's what the bar of soap was. <laughs> It evolves into an Aerodactyl, my bad. Thank you so, so much for watching that Pokemon 151 unboxing. If you enjoyed it, leave it a like and subscribe for more. I make a new video every single week. I will be definitely opening up some more of this set. So if you'd like to see some more, subscribe. Also check me out on Twitch because I will be opening some up there too. Until next time, please look after yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.